Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I wanted to bring you a video showing you how to block the iOS 11 update. Uh, I'm going to do it on my iPad. I, it works. I've tried it on my iPhone. I actually have my iPad on iOS 11, but just to demonstrate, because I'm recording from my phone, this uh, does seem to work properly. I don't like the forced updates. Uh, they download, it slows your internet down. Then if you, it'll remind you every 24 hours, or it will start to, if you delete it, it'll just start to re-download it the next time, and that's just going to keep eating at your bandwidth. That's very intrusive. I don't like and it takes up your uh, storage space. So I will leave this website linked in the description here. And this is almost a year old, so it does seem the method still works. This is the website you'll need. At first, I kind of thought maybe this was like a, not a virus or anything, I don't know if you can even do that, but just maybe it's shady, and they just like made it look like that. But from what I read, it, this is actually an official Apple um, signature or profile configuration. It's just we're putting a TVOS uh, thing, I guess is the best way to put it, on the iPad or the iPhone, and that confuses it. So, if I can do this without making a fool out of myself, copy it, and I would suggest using it in Safari, because we, I don't know, I use Chrome, but just, we all have Safari, and you should get this prompt. Uh, some people have said that it would go to the developer's website, and on my phone it worked properly, and then I tried it on another iPad, and it did go to their website, because I tried typing it in. So I just went on the actual website and copied it and pasted it and it worked. So maybe just try it like in a different browser. But it, this is what should show up if it works. So we'll go to allow. It's very simple. And you will install it. And then restart. Now again, in my case, it's not going to do anything because this is already on iOS 11. I don't mind the update at all on the iPad. I think it's just fine. I just don't want it on my iPhone, at least not now. And again, this is like no jailbreak, no root, and you can easily just remove that profile and then you can restart and then check for your updates again and it should be back to normal. So basically since Apple's kind of screwing you over is they put in the, uh, I believe in the, uh, document or the web page itself we're just using their own tools against them which is pretty neat so let me see here yeah cover all your big boy stuff up now because they put all the personal things software update and again I'm already on it but it would if you were on iOS 10 it would say you're still on that and then let me see where the The profiles, I have that one installed for my LTE, but this is also on here. And then if you want to remove it, you can just do that. It's simple. It's nothing like hacking or just very simple uh, settings that Apple has available to you. And it works just fine. So this came out back in I, well, the end of 2016. So I'm thinking it probably worked on previous versions of iOS. And it may work on future versions if you know, Apple doesn't have a problem with people doing this. The, the, the problem is them trying to force their updates on you, so I don't see anything wrong with doing this. Now, you actually will get this uh, feedback app all right here. That's because they think you're on a beta testing thing, so I just decline it. Don't accept it because it might, I don't know if it would start to like run in the background, and I just like, hide it in one of my Apple folders or whatever. So that's how I take care of that. Hopefully that helped you out. And uh, let me know if it works. Again, I'll put all the links in the description. And this should be great if you don't want to go on iOS 11. And again, hopefully for future updates as well. So thanks for watching. And you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.